What is happening guys? Welcome back to my Ghost Recon Breakpoint walkthrough. This is part 12 and we are about to lo well locate Madara. Uh, we're one step closer. She is, is supposed to be somewhere around this area, I hope. So yeah, uh, I'll see you guys there, alright? I'll be right back. Okay, so, um, I'll try to do a stealthier approach from now on, since it does seem to, you know, make things a lot more easier. <laughs> so yeah, um, stealthy and efficient, like we did in the previous episode. For you guys who haven't seen the previous episode, I'll leave a link down in the description, as usual, you know, a full playlist down below. Uh, you can choose freely if you guys would- Whoa! Hold on! What the actual hell was that? Spawning right in front of me! Okay. <clears throat> like I said, before I was interrupted. <laughs> um, full playlist down below in the description. Choose freely if you guys would like to, you know, if you decide to check that out. You can check out perhaps from the beginning or maybe just the previous episode. I don't know. But yeah, um, in the previous episode we did s well start this uh, mission really, and we did free one of Madeira's well outcasts, I believe they're called something like that from prison. So yeah, and he gave us this location. Uh. What now? Come on! Really? What the hell did s Oh my god, I hate these things. So annoying. You know what? Let's try to talk to that woman over there either way and see if that works. Come on. Greetings. Oh my god, it works. Okay. I was afraid that I had to, you know, fight through these enemies before I could talk to her, but... Okay. That's all I know. Thanks. Now we can just leave. Um I'll come back to this area later and loot everything. Since it is pinpointed on the map now, so it does make things easier. Um next location. Let me just get back to the chopper. Chopper. Let's see. Uh, it's pretty close, but still. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys there, okay? Just makes things a lot more easier like that. I'll be right back. Okay, so... This is the area she is supposed to be at. And I will not be surprised if we do need to go to a third area, as always. There's always three different areas for some stupid reason. Please don't be so in this mission as well. Um, oh my god, we do have vehicles. Yep. These robot droids, whatever they're called, are so frustrating. Um, so I think that the right approach will be, once again, stealthy. I sure hope I can do so this time without getting noticed. I don't want a flying drone seeing me out of nowhere that was just annoying real annoying but okay um, since I'm pretty sure if we do you know alert this guy that robot over there we'll have some big problems there's another one over there okay stealthy it is Let's go. Looks like I need to... I'm guessing she's in the building, you know. We do... A... Never mind, let's go. So, uh, the game crashed 
on me, so that's why it does look a bit different if you're seeing this. Well, if you notice something. Um, oh crap, no, 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 no. There we go. Just as I was about to, you know, enter this building, the game crashed. So, yeah, that's why it looks a bit different from when, well, when I mentioned it. Uh, so, thank God that it did actually still record my El Elgato. But okay, here we go. Who the hell are you? My name's Nomad. You were building drones for Walker and Stone? I... I was arrested for protesting. They made me work. Making war machines is the last thing on my to-do list. Yeah, well, a lot of people weren't sure what happened to you. Let's go. I'm sure more trouble's on the way. How'd you find me? Daigoro Ito. Stone said the outcasts were all dead. Not all of them. What do you know about Stone? How should I know anything? Uh, he seemed to know Cole Walker pretty well. They were best frenemies, know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I think I do. I just can't decide where I'd rather be. Blistering cold or this shithole or that rancid heat, humidity down in Bolivia. Uh, Bolivia, any day of the week. <laughs> You know, I, uh, I got this buddy, Stone, from the Rhett teams. He, uh, he set up his own shop, doing contract work down in Mexico. He says down there, the weather is sweet, women are soft. Yeah, what's the Rhett team? It's retaliation teams. Super secret squirrel shit. I thought we were super secret squirrel shit. <laughs> Not like me and Stone and the other two bruisers on his team. Hang on. Three targets coming out of the building, 12 o'clock, they have rifles. Ready. 325 meters. Roger that, 325. Hold center, send it. Targets down. I don't know about contract work. Tell me that when you have two daughters headed to college. <laughs> now, look at that. One unlucky fella still squirming. Misery loves company. There's an asshole hanging out the doorway trying to give him a hand. Hold center. Send it. Target's down. Yeah, I don't know about old Mexico. You know, me and Stone, we, uh, man, we never got along too good anyhow. Hey, you didn't fart in my rack, did you? How's it going? Yeah, it's been quiet. Wake me up if, uh, things get thrilling. I first heard about Stone a while ago. Shit. Are you one of walk one of his wolves? No. Look, let's get out of here first, then we can talk. I'm not leaving the factory if it's operational. Stone is scary enough without lethal drones. You got any ideas? I've been working here 15-hour days for months. I've thought a lot about blowing up the building. I've been preparing for this. I built a jacker to overload my energy cells in case they fell into the wrong hands. Just hook up this device, and I've programmed it so that once you're out of range, they will implode.
Okay, yeah, I really do enjoy these um, flashback cutscenes. Since I do like that actor who plays uh, Cole Walker. I'm a huge fan of his work, especially The Punisher. So yeah, that was awesome. Uh, need to find two more of those things. Might as well pick this up. Collectible? Perfect. Okay. Is it just me or has it... Well, it looks like we have more... Yeah, more enemies on the map. Let me just pick up this as well. Alright. Let's go. Yeah, I believe I have... Yep, it's outside the building. God damn it. Shit. Okay. Not a problem. I guess we'll have to fight through all of this. As I'm pretty sure that something is guarding the entrance by the looks of it. Yep. <laughs> of course. Of course. Yep. Okay. How the hell am I supposed to do this now? I wanted to do this as stealthy as possible, but no. I mean, they didn't even notice me, so why is it standing here? Seriously. Okay, not a problem. That was actually quite easy. Well, I do have a better assault rifle now, but still. Come on. So annoying. Stop it. There's the second one. Let me just take care of these guys. Whoa, okay. Yep. I kind of wish that I had my shotgun. But I did get a pretty decent sniper rifle. That's why I <laughs> haven't equipped the shotgun for now, at least. Right. Come on, big boy. There we go. Okay, then. One more. And we should be done here. But I do think with that we, since we have initiated the fight, we pretty much need to kill every single guard here. And that could take some time. I really need to take a look, you know, on what's the best way to become as stealthy as possible. Maybe I'm playing the wrong class or something, you know? Could be. I'm playing as the, well, soldier, I believe. But you can change uh, classes whenever you want to, really. You just need a skill point for it, so... Okay, that's number three. Let's just deal with these guards. Wow. Really, bro? Really? Come on, then. Peekaboo. What just happened? Okay, hold on. Relax. Take it easy, big boy. Seriously, what is killing them? I did not do that. Well, thank you. Better helmet, nice. Um, I do believe that we have at least three or four new... Well, more guards. Well, we do have that as well. This. There we go. Okay. Uh, 
Seriously? What's shooting at me? Whoa. Okay. Just this guy now, and then we should be done. Can I get up there somewhere? Somehow. Or somehow. Um... No. I need to take him by distance, by the looks of it. Yeah. From a distance. Uh, not a problem. Just show your face. There we go. And boink. Okay. One last guard. And we should be able to... You know, it, we might as well clear this area out, you know, that's why I'm doing this, since I don't really know what's about to happen, you know. I don't want this to turn into chaos if she decides to come with us, you know. So yeah, that's why I'm doing this. But okay, um, let's talk to her, and hopefully... We're done. It's ready. Time to go. Shit, it's Flycatcher. How bad is it? There's nothing a shot of tequila can't fix, all right? Listen, we gotta change your plans. We need to get you some help sooner rather than later. Take me to South Cape Station. There are people there that can help. Okay, yeah, that was intense. Interesting. Uh, the Flycatcher. Looks like a cool character. Another boss, I'm guessing. For a later mission. Let's just try to get out of here in one piece. Down the stairs. Yeah, we do have something. Hold on. I might need my assault rifle. Yep, I need my assault rifle. God damn it. Hold on. Wolves. There we go. Oh shit. Okay. 
There we go. Well then. As I was saying. Um, yeah, the Flycatcher could be an interesting boss. I mean, it, if he's controlling droids. Well, fly, flying drones. Um, but yeah, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, you know. Turn on those notifications. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think about this game, you know. If there's something special maybe you would like to see, perhaps. You know. And turn on those notifications so that you don't miss any of my upcoming episodes. We are soon about to start Doom Eternal in a couple of weeks. So that should be interesting. I am so hyped for that game. I loved the remake of the first one. Come on. There we go. Alright then, let's just fly her to safety, and I think we'll end it there. Um, hopefully it won't be that far away. Madara, come on. Let's get you to safety. Alright, let's go. Well then, um, it does seem like it's not close by, let me see. No, it's not. Of course not. God. Oh, it's so annoying. Throughout the entire map. Yeah, look at that. Oh, okay, it's not that far away, but yeah, I'll see you guys there. Be right back. Alright, we're about to land. Believe it or not, it actually does take some time to fly that distance. You know, it is, well, at least three to five minutes, something like that. Yeah, at least three minutes, for sure. You know, it's a lot of dead time, so that's why I probably will cut that part out. Just a heads up, you know. But okay, um, let's go and get her to a doctor. I sure could use a doctor as well. But uh, yeah, minor injury. Oh well. A long road to victory, missionary. Oh, okay. I haven't really touched these so-called faction missions yet. At least not on this character. Oh, here we go. Cutscene. Come on. Hey. This woman needs help. She says she knew a doctor here. Paula! Take her to medical. Come on. I'll be alright. So you're the, um, outcasts. It's not like we chose that name. It makes us sound like a biker gang. Yeah, something like that. I guess all the good terrorist names were taken, huh? We are not terrorists. They never are. Always freedom fighters, revolutionaries, political activists. And who are you, exactly? I'm Nomad. And right now I'm looking out for Paula Madeira. You're one of the soldiers from the helicopters. That's right. We tried to help some of you, but we only found dead bodies. Why would you try to help us out? Because we need friends. Even if they do look like the Brute Squad. <laughs> The world is more dangerous to humans than ever. I'm Haruhito. I used to be an engineer at Skeltech and I was happy, but then some of us found out a Skeltech secret. Project Deus? Never heard of it. You've heard of transhumanism. Some of the scientists on this island want to force the next step of human evolution with technology. 
Project Deus wants to make computers that are more intelligent than humans. <laughs> well, that shouldn't be too difficult. Most people I meet are as dumb as rocks. Would you really want a computer running your life? We came to live here because J. Skell promised us a libertarian paradise. Project Deus would put computers in control. And now you're here to fight that. Damn right. And Paula Madeira is a friend of yours. You'd be surprised how many people think transhumanism is a shitty goal. You can visit Paula in the medical bay.